At 19, it's not an ending, it's merely a transition. Here in Surrey, we're on our village site. It's a 2.5 acre site with five homes. All five homes have unfinished basement suites. We're hoping to take those basement suites and make them into independent living suites for our transition to adulthood youth. Music is a very big focus. I'm working, um, I'm going to university this later this month to become a band teacher. And the mission of the program is to work with at-risk and vulnerable youth to help them establish goals and move them towards independence so they can become healthy and contributing members of their communities. Hello, my name is David. I'm uh, 20 years old. I'm a villager at SOS Children's BC, British Columbia. I got a job at uh, Weedman Lawn Care. I'm the uh, sales rep and I also work in the office. I've been there for about 10 months now. A foster child is twice as likely to be involved in criminal justice system as graduating from high school. It's just not acceptable. The best thing about living in the village is the understanding the other caregivers and also the children have about each other. But they also come from all different walks of life, like different ethnicities, different uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, but they do have some challenges in common. I find it extremely positive that they have others that are just like them and they don't have to make an explanation about who they are or why they live with people who are not their biological parents. There's always been an understanding most of us have come from broken homes and whatnot so there's always an understanding and a push to strive to be better. Most of them did not grow up in families that were particularly supportive and um, dependable. The system is not addressing a very significant need. The need to help children who are totally dependent on the system and on foster parents transition into independent, self-reliant adults. I don't think that foster care, which in itself starts out to be a negative thing, uh, here it, it just is a lot better. These basement suites will mean the difference for six to 12 uh, youth every year who will have a home experience what it's like to live in independence and yet have the total support of a loving care team of professionals. We are dependent on the um, generosity of others because it is a charity, SOS is a charity, and so we're, we always hope those programs can continue. We look forward to helping our youth move from dependency to independence and self-reliance. That's what the Transition to Adulthood program is all about. It really is the living concept of it takes a village to raise a child. And your donation will go to help a young person transition to adulthood and make a significant difference in their life.